Hello and welcome back for another video. This video is one that was voted for on my poll on my community page on my YouTube. So this video is going to be my experience shooting college basketball with the Canon RF 50 1.8 and the 16 millimeter F 2.8. So both of these lenses, as you can see, are very, very small. You can almost say they are pancake lenses. They are almost exactly, if not exactly the same size. You can get lens hoods for both of these, but I do not have them. Um, they are great um, lightweight lenses if you are looking for something to keep the camera package pretty small. So I originally bought the 50 millimeter as like an everyday lens when I'm just carrying my bag around. That way I wasn't carrying a super heavy like 70 to 200 or the 24 to 70. And then I thought, why not get the 16? It would give me something to vlog with if I ended up wanting to do any vlogs of actually walking around and vlogging um, versus something like this. But anyways, we are gonna jump in and I'm gonna show you some POV and some of the photos I took with, this, with these lenses. So here we go.
All right, so you see the photos, you saw some of the footage. Um, the footage, just to make a note of it, was shot with the Insta360 Go, and it is a very small package lens uh, camera setup, and I just use a hot shoot mount and uh, screwed into the bottom and put it on top of the camera, and then I can set how long it records every time I hit record. So I hit record, and I have it set to record for a minute straight. So I could start that before the player as they're coming down um, at half court, and it records it. So anyways, back to the photos and the lenses. So first off, the 16 millimeter is so fun to shoot with. It's great for huddle shots. It's great for under the basket. It gets super wide, but you can always crop in. If you're on the R6 or the R5, you got plenty of megapixels to work with. And if you're just posting Instagram, you know, no one's gonna know that you're cropping maybe half the photo. I don't crop a lot. I leave mine pretty wide. The school will crop if they need to um, for their graphics. But for my personal use, I'll crop it for Instagram um, just to make it fit a little better. But I like to keep them wide. I like that overemphasized wide angle. And you can see all the action that's going around the player. Now, for the 50, the 50 isn't as tight as I would like it for a tight lens. But if you're looking for a budget lens to get into sports photography and you're able to shoot under the basket, a 50 millimeter will get it done. You're going to get the layup shots. It's going to be a little too wide for a three pointer at the top of the key. But if they're down at the baseline three, you're going to be able to get that shot. It's good to cover the bench if you're down at your team end. Um, it's a great, sharp, fast lens. Both of these lenses are very sharp and very fast on the autofocus. Both of them have the control ring on the front, so you can adjust it if you put in manual focus or if you have a control that you want to set there, like uh, your aperture or ISO or maybe shutter speed, whatever you choose. But both of these are very good lenses for the price. I will also say, for what they are, to get a 1.8 lens for sports photography is going to be very, very good. It's going to allow you to get um, more light and a faster shutter speed in maybe a very dimly lit gym. Our gym is very, very dark. So a 1.8 is um, very, very good. It allows me to cut my eyes. So almost in half um, from what I normally have to shoot with when I shoot with a 2.8 lens. So if it comes down to maybe your gym is very dark and you need a fast lens, um, not just fast in autofocus, but fast as in aperture, an f1.8 is going to be a great choice for the price. To get this lens, you can get it probably used for uh, around 100 bucks at this point. Um, I got this one 150 new um, open box on a website that was selling it that someone returned it to. So both these lenses are very good price. Um, and I would highly suggest them if you're just getting into sports. Um, a 16 is going to be very... Um, you're gonna have to find times where the 16 works. It's not gonna work too often, but it also comes in very handy if you're shooting a lot of groups, group sports, and you need something for like the huddles or celebrations, um, stuff like that. You can get creative with it in track and field if you want. It's gonna be a great lens. I'm assuming a great lens in the dugout for baseball and softball this year. It allowed me to capture a lot of the action after a home run or whatever it may be um, celebration in the dugout. Now for football, I didn't have a lot of um, uses for it, but I found uses for it when it came to after a touchdown celebration in the end zone or going onto the sideline um, when they were going through a play after a series. Um, the 50 is going to come in very handy for a lot of things. The 50 is great for portraits. So if you do sports and portraits and video, both these lenses are great for video as well. Um, they're just very solid lenses and I would highly suggest them. And you can usually find them used at this point because they've been out for a little bit. So anyways, with that said, I appreciate it. If you would like to subscribe, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions or if there's just anything that you wanna know about sports photography that I haven't covered in my videos. But with that said, I will see you all next time.